Hi, this is Jeremy from the Artifacts Forge with a video tutorial showing just how easy it is to create Victorian style illustrations with my latest product, Vintage Engraved Patterns. I've started drawing a Victorian gentleman's hat here and at the moment I just have the outlines uh, which are made by drawing with the typical illustrator stroke and I want to make them look a little bit more authentic and add an age effect and I'm going to do this by applying a roughen effect. Uh, before I do this I want to expand it from uh, an illustrator stroke into uh, an illustrator fill. This just works with the roughen filter a little better and I do that by going to object and expand and I do it again and object expand again and click OK and as you see it's now fills rather than strokes. And so to apply the roughen filter all I do is go to effect, distort and transform and select roughen. Now we want the effect to look very subtle um, so we're going to click absolute and set it to 1.7 points there, 6 points here and we want it to be smooth rather than a corner which would end up jagged. If I click OK, as you see, it's slightly rugged now rather than straight. Now it's time to start working with the patterns. And you normally find Illustrator patterns on the Swatches tab here. And you can apply them directly to vector shapes or text. And so I've created a set of vector shapes here on this hat texture layer, um, which are ready to use. And so go back to the swatches tab and simply click on an icon and as you see it's instantly applied and with this set I wanted to make your life a little bit easier um, and so I've supplied these swatches as sets of graphic styles and each of the patterns is applied at different angles so if I want to apply it at a 45 degree angle let's click on this style or a minus 45 degree angle I click on this one but for this illustration, I want the pattern at 90 degrees, so I'm going to click on this icon here. Now, the next stage is to start layering the patterns over each other um, at different angles. So I'm going to duplicate the shape with the applied pattern on it by copying it. I'm going to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in front. and then I'd like the pattern to be angled at 45 degrees. As you can see the tone's already being built up very nicely. And then I want to take out a section in the middle. So I'm going to use the rubber tool here and I'm just going to erase a section in the middle. Like so. I'm going to angle half of the shape that I just erased the middle from um, the opposite way around. Now I'm going to again select the first shape and copy it and paste it in place. And this time I'm going to angle it at zero degrees and then erase a smaller section in the middle of the hat. As you see, tones being built up really nicely. And now I'm going to take these two pieces and again I'm going to copy them and paste them in front and then angle it again slightly differently and erase them again. and you just keep doing this until you're happy with the tone. Now as I expect you probably understand the principle now I'm going to skip ahead and add another layer of tone and just generally tweak it. Um, these areas here I'm going to just fill them 
with the color black because they are dark areas and I'm just going to build up a bit of tone here as well and then you'll see the finished item. And here's your finished hat. Now I've only actually used a couple of patterns for the entire hat. Um, this kind of band here I've used a slightly thicker ink version and just layered that up and the highlights here are just simple vector paths. If you have any questions on this, um, just leave a comment underneath and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.